In order to understand the theoretical mechanism of ketamine, we must first review a few concepts. Neurons are one type of cell within our brain. There are about 100 billion neurons in the human brain, and neurons look like trees or an octopus. The head of the neuron is called the soma, and the branches or tentacles are called axons and dendrites. Neurons communicate with each other in complex ways. One of the ways neurons communicate with each other is by releasing chemicals called neurotransmitters, which are the voices of the neuron. Glutamate is just one of many of these chemicals. Glutamate can turn on or excite most neurons in the central nervous system. For this reason, we call glutamate the major excitatory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system. Glutamate binds to receptors on the next neuron and stimulates it. Receptors are like the ears of neurons. There are a number of different glutamate receptors. NMDA and AMPA receptors are just two types. When glutamate binds to NMDA receptors, the neuron is stimulated or excited. Neurons are able to strengthen their connections with each other. They do this in very complicated ways. One of the ways they do this is something called long-term potentiation. This is what happens. Glutamate binds to both NMDA and AMPA receptors, and a cascade of reactions occur within the neuron. This causes the neurons to become stronger, more viable, and strengthens their connections with each other. This is one way neurons learn to communicate more efficiently with each other. It's also one of the ways we learn and remember things. It turns out that AMPA receptors are very important in this process, probably more important than NMDA receptors. When AMPA receptors are stimulated, they induce the neuron to make important growth factors and other proteins to promote growth, survival, and more connections. As you can see here, these two neurons are making more connections with each other. This is how classic antidepressants are thought to work. But what about ketamine? Ketamine blocks NMDA receptors. This means more glutamate can stimulate more AMPA receptors. By stimulating more AMPA receptors, the neuron then produces more growth factors and proteins, which then increases the number of connections and the survival of the neurons. While this is a very simplified explanation, it gives you an idea of how ketamine might work.